And then of course, one day she said, Dave, I want to go find a job on my own. So I, I let her take my car and she decided to go to Beverly Hills. So I gave her the Thomas guides. We had, we didn't have, we didn't have um, ways or anything back then. So she would use the Thomas guide. And I said, the best place is to go to Beverly Hills and look like in around Rodeo Drive if you want, because you know, she was so beautiful and so sweet that she could, you know, she could get a job anywhere. So she came back and she told me she got a, a job at Jack's, which was a um, uh, women's clothing store on Rodeo Drive. And Jack also owned a restaurant called The Daisy. And um, so she worked at the clothing store for about a week and he goes, you know what? I think you're better suited at um, my restaurant, The Daisy. Well, The Daisy um, was a known spot for on Rodeo for a lot of movie stars would hang out there, sports celebrities like O.J. Simpson and many other players like that. And anyway, um, so one day she said, after she was waitressing um, there at the Daisy, she came home and said, I met this, um, this football player. And I said, oh, wow, what's his name? And she goes, O.J. Simpson. And I said, oh my gosh, wow, he's incredible. He's the best running back. There is. I mean, he was incredible back in the day. And I just, um, I said, you know, he is married. And she goes, well, he's just, he was really, really nice. And I said, it doesn't matter. He's a married man. And I tried to explain to her. I said, I just don't think it's a good idea. And anyway, she didn't listen to me. And um, I was, I was trying to be like a father figure, but more like a big brother because she was a little bit younger than I was. I was trying to you know, she was 18 years old. And I just, anyway, it's, I look back on it now and I just, I feel really bad that, you know, that I didn't, wasn't stronger then and didn't um, say, no, you really shouldn't do this. Well, she went out on that date and I said, you know, try to be home by 12 o'clock. I was trying to be like a dad, you know, and I said, please try to be home by 12 if you can. I remember I met him that night and he drove a Bentley and it said juice on it. And he just was all about OJ. It was OJ this, OJ that. And he just, uh, you know, he, had, he didn't really like her living with me. He wasn't really a fan. And um, she got home that night at like two o'clock. She comes in the door. I go, where the, where the heck have you been? And she came in and her pants were ripped. And I said, what the hell? I can't believe this. Why would you let him do this? She goes, David, stop, stop. She told me David, not Pinky this time because she was very serious. And I just, um, I couldn't believe it. I said, what are you thinking? And she goes, well, I think I really like this guy. So from that point on, they started dating. Within a week, he didn't want her living with me, even though I was just strictly and platonically a friend. He got her an apartment, got her a car, and that was it. We still became friends. Um, sorry. Anyway, just thinking back, I kind of really regret, um, I really regret that she went out with OJ and that I let her come up and live with me in Los Angeles because I kind of feel guilty now about um, about her living with me and then meeting him. You know, I just, it's a tragic. It's a tragic story and I loved her so much. I loved Nicole. She was like the little sister that I didn't have and um, to this day, I regret it. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Nicole Brown Simpson, a human being, as charged in count one of the information. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Ronald Lyle Goldman, a human being, as charged in count two of the information.